I would like to introduce all of you to possibly, no, just without a doubt, the most pathetic channel on YouTube. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty fucking crazy. Are you guys ready for this? You guys aren't ready for this. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Whoop. Hold on. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Alliance Defending Freedom. At Now, at first look, this may just seem like some Prager U clone, right? Look, look at this stuff. This is like, it's, you know, pretty clearly right wing. How states weaponize values to punish police. Do Christians have a right to free speech? How Jesse Ramirez went from hospice to healing. How modern equality comes at women's expense. Um, America's freedom isn't automatic. We have to protect it. When administrators empower the, the mob, free speech gets vetoed. It looks like, you know, it, it looks like it's a, uh, you know, it looks like it's kind of a, uh, you know, like a PragerU clone. Wow, look at that. 8% like ratio on how modern equality uh, comes at women's expense. Now, there is a lot more to this channel and this organization that runs it than you'd think. Alliance Defending Freedom on the SPLC website. Let's learn about this YouTube channel, this channel that's getting millions of views, granted it's getting ratio all the time, but getting millions of views that YouTube is hosting on their site. Let's get a look. Founded by some 30 leaders of the Christian right, the Alliance Defending Freedom is a legal advocacy and training group that has supported the recriminalization of sexual acts between consenting LGBTQ adults in the U.S. and criminalization abroad. So they want um, gay sex to be illegal. Defended state-sanctioned state sterilization, sterilization of trans people abroad. So they want the state to sterilize trans people, as in like making it so they can't have kids. Contended that LGBTQ people are more likely to engage in pedophilia. So they're pedophiles, because it's always projection. Claim that a homosexual agenda will destroy Christianity and society. Hmm. Interesting. ADF also worked to develop religious liberty legislation and case law that will allow the denial of goods and services to LGBTQ people on the basis of religion. Despite its regular defamation of LGBTQ people, the group has managed to win special advisory status to the United Nations in the European Union with the Organization of American States. Since the election of President Trump, the ADF has become one of the most influential groups in forming the administration's attack on LGBTQ rights. We can go down further, but it's it's all it's just more of this. So basically, this is a um, legal advisory and propaganda group funded by billionaires and millionaires, tons of power behind it that basically funds uh, people to, for example, uh, students who want to uh, spray paint or like graffiti uh, anti LGBT messages on like the the side of their school um if those students want to sue their school because they get in trouble for doing that th these guys will come along and pay for their um their lawyers and everything and they'll get some good fucking lawyers and they'll probably win that's what this group is and youtube like this actual hate group actual hate group youtube is proudly and prominently playing their ads on YouTube, hosting their videos on YouTube, and I just, maybe I'm a little salty about this. I got false striked. I got a false community guidelines strike that YouTube uh, tripled down on on Twitter, saying that I was scamming people in my uh, stream, my stream bot, where I was just talking about politics. So, yeah, uh, YouTube, once again, very much uh, enacting their, their policy here. So... Thank you for auto-playing the video as soon as I decide to put it into full screen. We're going to go ahead and watch this video, how states weaponize values to punish beliefs, and see where maybe the objective of this uh, organization may peek through a little bit in this video. Let's, let's, you know, let's check it out. It's no secret that words like diversity, equality, and inclusion have been weaponized as tools of cancel culture in recent years. Oh, no. Sadly, Virginia has added another word to that list. Values. Virginia recently passed a law called the Virginia Values Act, 
As officials interpret it, the act demands lockstep adherence to the state's views on foundational issues like marriage, sex, and what it means to be male and female. The act threatens Virginia businesses and organizations, including artists and even churches, with up to $100,000 in fines if they fail to fall in line with these government-mandated views. That means a yep. Christian photographer... Hey, guess what? Guess what, guys? If you want a happy, free society where you can pursue life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that's your goal for a society, you probably should have laws in place that prevent people from refusing you service because you're, say, gay or black or trans. I feel like that's, uh, I feel like it's pretty important to having, like, a free society. I feel like that's inherently American. Maybe we disagree on that. I mean, this this organization that made this video wants to sterilize uh, trans people and make gay sex illegal. But what do I know, you know? For like Bob what up the Grove, know? who gladly serves everyone, is forced under the Virginia Values Act to use his artistic talents to photograph same-sex weddings if he photographs weddings between one man and one woman. Incredible. This would only be true... Wait, you do realize that... If you're a, like, freelance business guy and a gay couple comes to you, you're allowed to say, sorry, I'm booked or sorry, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not doing your wedding or whatever and not take wedding photos. You just can't say, because I don't do gay weddings and then go off about how being gay is evil. No, no, no wedding photographer is forced to do wedding photography for any wedding, unless they've been paid already and are unwilling to give a refund. And they decide, oh, you paid me already, I'm just gonna not do it. I guess then they're forced to do it, because then they're just stealing, but besides that, I, I don't think it's a thing that, uh, that happens. Incredibly, the Virginia Values Act also forbids Bob from publicly explaining on his own website the religious reasons why he only celebrates wedding ceremonies between one man and one woman. Ah, there it is. So it wasn't that he's forced to take wed um, photography for gay weddings. It's actually that he, on his website for his business, he had a post on his About Us page talking about how he would deny gay people service if they wanted to have, like, a gay wedding done photography for. Hmm. A little bit different from how you described it there, huh? But the Virginia Values Act doesn't stop there. It even extends the long arm of the government into churches, religious schools, and pro-life pregnancy centers. Under the terms of the act, churches and other faith-based organizations are stripped of their right to minister and hire employees according to their mission and core beliefs. Virginia's official- What is their mission and core beliefs? Hold on, let's look at the Virginia Values Act. Let's actually learn what this is from a non-propaganda source. Virginia Values Act. Let's look. Let's look at what this bill is actually about. I like this website. This is uh, very similar to that one California bill tracking website. This, is a, uh, uh, this basically has the bill in its exact wording. So let's read this bill. Prohibited discrimination, public accommodations, employment, credit and housing, causes of action, sexual orientation, and gender identity. Literally all this bill does is make it so that if you're giving public accommodations, you're employing people, you're, you're like credit, you know, it's like your, your credit, right? Like uh, a lot of, back in the day, it used to be that like um, black people would be denied credit um, or good credit because they were black back when redlining was a thing and housing do on the grounds of, of their sexual orientation and gender identity so basically you're not allowed to say uh no you can't stay at this hotel no you can't stay at this airbnb because you're gay or trans no i'm i, I won't hire you because you're gay or trans no i'm not going to uh, our this bank isn't gonna offer you credit because you're trans and no you're not allowed to not sell a house to somebody on the basis of them being uh, trans or gay. That's literally all this bill does. It's all it does. I would be really interested to see um, 
You, you guys realize this bill already exists, right? This bill has already existed for a while. It's covered people of racial minorities for decades. You are no longer allowed to say, no, you can't live here because you're black. No, you can't work here because you're black. No, we can't, we're not giving you credit because you're black. Or no, we're not going to sell you this house because you're black. They, they, this bill already exists. They literally just expanded it to LGBT people in the state of Virginia. This is literally the exact same as Bill C-16. Let's, let's bring that one up. Let's bring that one up. You guys remember Bill C-16? Or I should say the amendment to it that they made? You guys remember that? Remember how like every single anti-SJW type back in 2016, 2017 was ranting about how this bill was going to make it so if you misgendered a trans person on the street, you'd be sent to prison? The the bill that made Jordan Peterson's entire career? Let's talk about what that bill did because this is just going to be the next Bill C-16. The bill is intended to protect individuals from discrimination within the sphere of federal jurisdiction and from being the targets of hate propaganda as a consequence of their gender identity or their gender expression. The bill adds gender identity or expression to the list of prohibited groups or sorry, the list of prohibited grounds of discrimination in the Canadian Human Rights Act and the list of characteristics of, uh, of identifiable groups protected from hate propaganda in the criminal code. It also adds that evidence that an offense was motivated by bias, prejudice, or hate based on a person's gender identity or expression constitutes an aggravating circumstance for a court to consider when imposing a criminal sentence. So there has to be strong evidence in court. If you want to bring something like this to court, there has to be strong evidence that the actions done by the perpetrator are motivated by hatred towards that particular um, uh, uh, gender identity or sexuality, right? So even then, it's like the burden is on you. The burden of proof is on you as like the trans person or the gay person or whatever in court if you're trying to draw charges towards someone. So this is literally just going to be the next Bill C-16, where the bill doesn't say anything close to what it's claiming it does, and, well... An actual hate group that YouTube is allowing to host videos in their platform uh, is the one spreading the misinformation about it. Official seal and motto celebrates America's hard-won victory of liberty over tyranny. Yet, its current crop of lawmakers now think they can demand that a church must choose between potential bankruptcy and abandoning basic beliefs shared by billions of Christians, Jews, and Muslims all over. Basic beliefs such as, hold on. It's funny because in any other video, this channel would be shitting on Muslims more than you could possibly believe. But you have to understand, conservatives don't actually have any values. They really, really don't. So at one moment, you notice how like at one moment conservatives will talk about how cancel culture is the worst and the gays are destroying society. And the next moment um, they'll be talking about how like uh, – uh, you know, Muslims hate gay people and they throw them off of buildings. You know, how they flip flop back and forth constantly. It's because conservatives don't actually have values. They have groups and people they hate. And their narrative, whatever their argumentation is, whatever they want to, whatever line of dialogue, whatever their dialogue tree wants to go down is determined by who they hate the most and what conversation is being had. Over the world. And it's all under the guise of Virginia values. This from the state that produced four of the first five U.S. presidents, including Thomas Jefferson, whose vision for religious freedom was the gold standard, not just throughout the nation. Damn, maybe Virginia knows what's going on then. Hey, listen, if Virginia produced George Washington and these other white motherfuckers, uh, maybe, just maybe, we ought to, we ought to know Virginia knows what they're doing here, you know? Like, damn, they produced George Washington? Okay, yeah, Virginia. They know what's going on. They know what's up. Nation, but throughout the Western world for well over two centuries. In one of his letters on the topic of religious liberty, Jefferson wrote that he had sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Yet the tyranny Jefferson so passionately opposed is now alive and well in his home state. And Virginia isn't alone in demanding conformity on issues. Maybe, maybe we have a different opinion of what tyranny is, but I feel like tyranny is when you have a, a government that allows people 
to discriminate against anyone based on their uh, identity. Like their race, sexuality, whatever. Like, oh, you're a woman? We're not hiring here. Uh, oh, you're, you're black? Oh, well, hmm. You can't buy this house. I wonder how uh, Alliance Defending Freedom feels about um, redlining. I'm really curious. Issues with deep religious, political, and social significance. More than 20 states have similar laws on the books. Meanwhile, nice. federal lawmakers are considering proposals like the Equality Act and Fairness for All, which weaponize our systems of justice to punish people of good faith because of their beliefs about marriage and the differences between males and females. Faced with crippling fines and no limit. The difference between males and females. Notice how they aren't saying what they actually believe here. If we go to the um to to like to look at what they actually believe in, you see this is what they stand for: recriminalization of sexual acts between consenting LGBTQ adults, banning gay sex, sterilizing trans people, um, so, claiming that LGBT people are more likely to be pedophiles, claiming that the homosexual agenda will destroy Christianity and society. But in their videos, it's like, oh no, look, guys, we just care about like happiness and freedom. Look, look at how happy the the cartoon characters are. Look, they're all smiling. Look, the pastor's giving this homeless guy some McDonald's. The you know the the a uh, nurse at the uh, pro-life clinic is, you know, you know, talking to this mother and everything. Oh, look, the kids are so happy at this little youth group thing. I love it. I love how dishonest conservatives are. And the differences between males and females. Faced with crippling fines and no limit to potential attorney's fees or damages, Bob Updegrove took the state to task, filing a federal lawsuit with the help of Alliance Defending Freedom. ADF also filed a separate lawsuit on behalf of Calvary Road Baptist Church and three other religious groups, including CareNet, which supports one of the largest networks of pregnancy centers, churches, and volunteers in the U.S. Let's learn about CareNet. You guys want to learn about CareNet? I feel like there's probably some, uh, I feel like there might be some good memes going on with CareNet, you know? The first thing that came up when I looked up CareNet was CareNet's president and CEO explains why he is not a racist. All right, I think we've seen enough. I think we've seen. I think we know enough about CareNet. Well, that's the, the meantime, first thing that came over up. Over seventy churches, schools, and other local businesses have signed an open letter to Governor Ralph Northam and members of the state assembly, urging them to avoid enforcing the law in a manner that requires Virginians of faith to violate their conscience. Our freedoms nice. travel together. A state that can weaponize the law to punish religious believers on Monday can just as easily do the same to non-believers on Tuesday. More to the point, if one state can force a Christian photographer or a church to celebrate same-sex... All right, let me explain what religious freedom is all about, all right? This is what religious freedom is supposed to be. This is the, arguably, if you go off of what they've said, the intent of our founding fathers here in America. This is the... Um, this is the purpose, all right? This is the purpose of religious freedom, okay? The point of religious freedom is that you privately can worship whoever you want. You can engage in whatever religion you please for yourself. The problem is once your religion and your worshiping starts to harm other people, that's when the government starts putting restrictions on those particular things. Like, for example, let's say your religion is cannibalism. All right. I just made up a whole new I made up a whole new religion here. And part of your uh, religion is that you have to eat somebody every Sunday. Like you, you just see it. You, you kill a dude. You lay him out on the table. You know, you cook him up, slice up his, you know, slice him up, you cook him on the grill, and then you eat, you eat the guy, right? And that's how you privately uh, practice your religion. The problem is, it might be an infringement on the rights of the dude you went out and killed to slaughter and uh, eat on every Sunday, even though it's your own religious beliefs, because uh, you're going out and you're killing them. 
Now, this is an extreme example, but let's go, let's use, you know, we'll, like Christianity as an example. Christianity, usually not a big fan of gay people. Not a big fan of gay people. Not a big fan of gay weddings. Cool. You, as a Christian, do not need to attend a gay wedding. You don't need to do that. You don't need to believe that gay weddings are okay. However, if you're a church and you have a, a service in which people can pay money and host their wedding there, and you as a business, because that's a business now, decide to say, yeah, but not gay people though. Well, now you're infringing on the rights of gay people while you practice your religion. The point of freedom of religion is that you can practice your religion as much as you like up until your religious practice starts to affect the basic rights of others. That's the point of it. Marriage? What's to stop another state from forcing a lesbian filmmaker to create a documentary celebrating marriage between a man and a woman as best for society? Government is meant what? to be freedom's prime defender. Not it's the government's going to force a lesbian filmmaker to make a documentary on why straight marriage is best for society. What? Primary threat. The freedom to disagree and to debate our differences is what makes us American. That's true diversity. What Virginia wants is the polar opposite. It wants government forced conformity and that path only guys. Guys, look, it's like Big Brother's watching you. It's just like 1984. Soy! Forced conformity, and that path only destroys freedom and diversity. True diversity of thought and robust debate are values that define American life. Hopefully, Virginia lawmakers recapture those values before it's too late. I love how they they make the virginia lawmakers who passed this bill look all evil you know like they look like a villain lineup they look like the suicide squad you know just standing here in front of the uh in front of the government building meanwhile this video is made by like an actual hate group <laughs> an actual hate group that wants to sterilize trans people and ban gay sex late Follow this case and learn more about the work Alliance Defending Freedom is doing to ensure freedom's future. Hold on. We got to talk about something here. There's an elephant in the room, okay? Can we talk about something here? So here's this new video, all right? It came out one week ago. It's got, it's, it's getting ratioed. 703,000 views. Only 185 likes and 58 dislikes and 227 comments. Does that seem a little fishy to you guys? I've never seen a video with so many views and so few ratings and comments. I think this channel's getting botted to hell. I think this video is getting extremely botted. Leave a comment, Xander Hall. Are we leaving a comment? Do I do some internet com Do I learn from our from Papa Eric, Papa Salvia Eric, and I leave another comment? Is that what you guys want? Hmm. All right, we'll we'll do it. We'll do it. But first, first, what what should I go for here? Hmm. I don't have any ideas for this one. I don't know. Here, I got an idea. Hold on, I gotta... Can you fuckers please stop playing these ads on my videos? I like the money and all and i always make sure to donate it to gay bars every month but it's getting excessive at this point hey hunter avalon 
Yo, bro, did you see Flamenco hopped on call yesterday? I uploaded the segment. It was hilarious. Yeah, but I try not to engage with him much because um, I haven't watched it. But no, I try not to engage with him month much because the dude's obsessed with me and he's uh, he's like he's been stalking me for a while. So you just don't want to engage with people who are like super stalkery because it gives them what they want, and that just keeps them like kind of going, you know. Can you fuckers please stop playing these ads in my videos? I like the money and all, and I always make sure to donate it to gay bars every month. Hold on. Out of spite. But it's getting pr pretty excessive at this point. And I'm pretty sure with how fucked up YouTube's algorithm is... They are gonna start striking channels for the ads that play before the videos. Wow, I am just- I am so bad at typing. Holy shit. I am very bad at typing. All right, how we like this so far? Can you fuckers please stop playing these ads in my videos? I like the money and all, and I always make sure to donate to gay bars every month out of spite, but it's getting excessive at this point, and I'm pretty sure with how fucked up YouTube's algorithm is, they're going to start striking channels for the ads that play before the videos at, the, at this point. At this rate, actually, because I already use it at this point multiple times. Change gay bars to abort, uh, abort, abortion. Abortion clinics. <laughs> All to abortion clinics. Uh, makes sense, Abiru. All right. Um, we we like. What do we we like this one? Here we go. Can you fuckers please stop playing these ads in my videos? I like the money and all, and I always make sure to donate it to abortion clinics every month out of spite. But it's getting excessive at this point, and I'm pretty sure with how fucked up YouTube's algorithm is, they're going to start uh, striking channels for the ads that play before the videos at this rate. Uh, okay, here's the link. Here's a link to the video. You guys can go. You guys can go like the video. Or like the comment and everything. There you go. Uh, all right. Okay, so yeah, actual hate group, an SPLC designated hate group that is on the record for saying they want to sterilize trans people, ban gay marriage, and they actively, um, you know, contribute to making these things a reality. Um, they are a hate group, and YouTube is hosting them on their platform. I think YouTube needs to bust out some of that good old uh, 1984 censorship cancel culture that the right is always talking about, and maybe do something about this uh, hate group that's obviously botting their videos, too. Like, look at this. YouTube. Th this is the most evidently botted video for views I've ever seen. Less than 300 ratings on the video and over 700,000 views. This is the most evidently botted video I've ever fucking seen. Come on, YouTube. Everything about this channel is against your TOS. Do something about it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon if you haven't done so already so YouTube actually tells you when I upload or uh, release a new video or go live. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join my fan Discord, the link's in the description. And if you have the money for it and you don't know what to do with it, you can always support me financially by donating or subscribing on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, right there. Uh, if we hit the dono goal, I'll bring the cat on stream and she'll be laying on that pillow there. You can also super chat or hit the join button to become a channel member on YouTube, or you can sub or prime sub for free uh, if you have uh, Twitch Prime on Twitch. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. It's been fantastic and have a good one.